Hi, Otto. Welcome. Campaign started on Monday. We've been here until today. Finally, we have the opportunity to showcase to the world um, a good game against a team that finished second at the last AFCON. Um, how would you describe the four days of campaign so far? Yeah, first of all, um, I'm happy to, to be back. Um, it was quite interesting because we, I mean, like, if you compare the, the, the squad now from, from the squad to the AFCON, there are a lot of replacements, we have a lot of injuries. Um, so we have like seven, eight new guys in camp with uh, less experience, but I think uh, with, a, with a bright future in front of them. And um, it was quite interesting to, to see them on the pitch to yeah, take in good positions against the ball, with the ball, to adapting to my philosophy and my style of play. So I'm really, really looking forward for tomorrow, uh, for the, especially for young boys to show. And then in the combination with those who have experience, who have been here for some time, uh, to guide them um, will be an interesting match. Obviously, once you talk about new guys, it means some of your key players are not available for which reason you fell on the on the new guys how much of a miss would that be to your team the absence of um, some of the experienced players who ordinarily would have been a boost to the squad um yeah surely it's a pity um surely um we would always especially when we play against nigeria uh, wants to go with our strongest squad but like i said it's for me i'm always looking for opportunities and it's uh, opportunity for for each and every new player in the squad to, to show himself. And uh, so for that, I'm not too much thinking about who could be here and who could help us um, and looking at the reality. And this is um, a squad with uh, experienced players, but also a lot of young players who are on their way uh, up and who can show me, but also themselves um, on what um, level and stage they can play. What have you picked up? from these players in the last four days? Um, yeah, first of all, I think they're extremely confident. Um, um, they look fearless on the pitch. And uh, what I like is that in the training, I have to say they adapted very well. They integrated very, very well into the group. Um, I can see them talking a lot, having a lot of fun. So yeah, I think um, a very, very good sign um, on the pitch but also off the pitch um, that they they were welcomed warm by those who, who have more experience. Well, let, let's veer off the game a bit and talk about your backroom staff and their contributions to to your work so far. It's quite a new setup, um, even though Fatal is experienced on the domestic scene, John, another experience on the domestic scene, Joseph, um, Lohmann is the only odd one amongst them because he's not very much known in Africa. Now, these three people together with you, what sort of combination do you think you have? Um, yeah, first of all, um, I knew all of them um, before the job. So I played with John together. That's how I got to know him in 2014 uh, at the World Cup. And um, yeah, it was, it was really, really nice to, to, to get together, to share our ideas and also to, to see that hey, it, it fits. And um, Joe, I know him from, from, from Germany. Um, yeah, he's, he's an absolute expert. Um, he has really, really good eyes. Um, with good eyes, I mean like for the situations, to react fast, um, but it's also very, very attentive to any kind of things which are destructive and on the same side attentive to, to things which can help to develop um, the, the group and uh, the team as such. So, so very, very important uh, input from, from all of them. They gave me in those um, first three, four days. And um, yeah, it's, it's really, really good to have them. Um, I can feel after you know, these first four days that they they really, really help me and the team to improve, and uh, this is what we want to have. Now, talking of Nigeria and the quality they have, in the last AFCON they were second, 
obviously they will come into the game as as favorites um how are you approaching this match um yeah i think we we observed them well um, um we know what we can uh, expect from them um they have really really strong experienced players um, um even though um i guess not all of them are there but still they have um, very 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 strong squads um um, we expect them to be to be uh, very very hard to 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 break against the ball, but also with the ball, especially they, which you could see in, in the African Cup of Nations, they had very really really good um, offensive transitions. They are fast players on the, at the wing, um, tall players up front, um, um, which can hold the ball no matter who comes, and um, yeah, a really really solid uh, uh, back chain. So it's going to be tough for sure, but surely we we, we know what we can and uh, we know how to um, yeah play against such a hold. And um, um, even though they went to the final, they they showed also during some matches that they are vulnerable. So so um, anything can can happen. I know this, and and uh, I just hope that we get a good start and then we can we can. Um, and this game um, as, as, as a winner team. The, the FA has spoken about a long-term project devoid of pressure, with lowered expectations, so that you will be able to build a new team, reconstruct the team, and take us to the, to the top level again. I mean, personally, when you assess the current state of the Black Stars, what will be your, your rating of the team? It's difficult, difficult to say. Um, surely, if you look at the data, um, I think we are at a very, very low point. But um, obviously, it was, I mean, very, very unlucky how we um, went out of the African Cup of Nations. Um, um, and all, I think, especially in Africa, the, the countries move closer together. It wasn't like um, a Cup of Nations where we saw like this team is far better than another. So it's still quite close, but we have to be honest to ourselves. Um, in the last um, two Afghans, we didn't do so well. Um, they're so-called little countries where we had our problems with. And um, yeah, this is one of our targets to, to, to get better in these games, to dominate, dominate these games. Um, at the end, it's, it's impossible to predict if you win or lose, but what my aim is and the, the aim of uh, the whole coaching staff to increase the probability that we win. And f for this, um, we, we, we have plans, we have ideas and um, it's, yeah, we want to use every um, uh, time we get together to work on these ideas and then to execute them on the field. I mean, do these lower ratings or ranking per your observation put you under any intense pressure in your quest? Because I know you are committed to excellence in your quest to, to get us back to the top. Um, no, um, I think it's like, like I said, it's, this is the reality that um, the, the countries have moved closer together. There's no so-called lower team that you can just beat by five or six goals to zero. Um, um, all the team have, has adapted um, to, to, to a high level and for that um, we need to be uh, yeah, better prepared, I think, and aware of, of their strength um, and if we, we can find solutions to their style of play, then I know that normally, normally we have the quality also coming up now with young guys um, to beat, to beat yeah, in Africa we can, we can beat Anyone, sure. Now, finally, at the end of this window, um, probably you will not have the chance to play any game until June when you go into the World Cup qualifiers. What specific top points do you want to pick from these two matches against Nigeria and Uganda? Yeah, for me, it's actually, it's always the same. Um, surely each... Um, each uh, match has, his, his, has different preferences and different 
um, options, but also different uh, um, um, hurdles and different solutions. And for us, it's 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 always um, the, the aim to find the right solutions, um, defensively but also offensively. And um, so I think Nigeria and Uganda is an optimal preparation uh, for these two matches um, because I think we can expect the same obstacles um, um, in these upcoming matches. And um, yeah, if we take however the game ends, the right conclusions of, out of these games, then we, we can prepare ourselves um, as, as best as possible uh, for the upcoming matches against Mali and uh, Congo. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs>